Hello Aries! Welcome! It's time for your reading for beginning to mid of August of this current year. Got my rings back on because I'm not taking them off. Ba, 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 ba. Okay, I'm sorry. Anyway, let's go ahead and do a six. I'm just going to do six ways for everybody because I don't feel like um, taking too long today. Because I feel like it's going to be one of those days where I'm going to be excessively busy. And I don't want to waste everybody's time with long readings. Some people just don't enjoy them. You know? So let's see, Aries, what's going to be coming up for you for next couple of weeks until I read for you all again. Great. Right. So let's see. What do we have for you? Six of Cups reverse. Some bad memories from back in the day. Oops. I came out sideways. Wants and wishes. Someone wants to be kind of like an abusive mom and to scream at their kid for ridiculous shit. Fears and rejections. Getting played after playing, folk. Whoever you're dealing with, right? Page of Swords, Reverse, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, in the situation. Someone is snooping for bad, bad, bad stuff. Um, obstacles and challenges coming against you to Justice card. Could be a Libra as well. Or it could just be Karma in general. The world is what starts this shit and what makes it come full circle. And the th beginning theme, the High Priestess. It's motherfucking secret. To the yeah. Okay, so let's see y'all. Mm -hmm. It's like someone's looking for a reason to scream at somebody. But the obstacle is doing the right thing, I feel like. And someone's afraid they're gonna get caught up in their own bullshit. Because of shit from the past. Hmm. Like someone's blocking another person or making them feel bad for trying to do the right thing. Right? Whoever this person is, it could be you, Aries. It could be the person you're dealing with. With this past situation, Six of Cups were thinking. Oh, shit. Okay. Yeah. Bad, bad things happened in the past, which resulted in the tower. Like this shit was seen. Two people fell. And it was definitely watched. Like the illusion, whatever it was, burned both people. Six of, or page, sorry, page of swords, reverse, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Could be somebody looking for mischief, looking for anybody they can find in order to cut down in this. Um, it, because it's like they don't have anything really of worth to offer. So they kind of turn their back on offering things, period. Could be from an earth sign, Cap, Taurus, Virgo. This is like somebody who doesn't know how to deal with people in the correct manner. Like, you know, it's like the audacity, you know? That's the situation. Like, someone would rather get out of their way to try to cause some nasty shit to happen than actually offer whatever bullshit they could. Even me, I mean, it'd be better if they offered something. But it's not like they are, so. Uh, the wants and wishes. Someone wants to really, like, I, I like taking this as someone's taking, um, scolding someone way too far to the point where it's abusive, to the point where it's like, you're not doing this to help someone correct their, their um, shit. You're really doing it just to, almost like gaslighting, like making someone feel like they're crazy or uneducated or they can't do anything right. Like, someone wants to do that, Aries. It could be the person you're dealing with, or it could be somebody else. But whoever this person is, is like they want to scold, and then they just want to like not even offer any love. But they even took the turtle Melvin with them. Like fuck them, you know. That's their that's the one wish right here. This is possibly somebody you're dealing with, but it could be you as well. You could have reasons, they could have reasons, but I don't know if those reasons are really based on anything. Because we have justice below, which is like good karma. But I, I think it's also like the, doing the right thing. That's the obstacle. And someone just doesn't want to do that. Okay, so you could be dealing with an air sign. Who wants to make you feel like you did the wrong thing. That's my hubby. That's cool. 
But yeah, it's like, it, 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 you also have a water sign dealing with this as well. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. But it's like this person turns their back when it comes to emotion. When it comes to actually dealing with correct emotions, it's like they don't know how to do that. It's like a nettled cancer who, like, just, um, decides that, like, they'd rather punish you than, like, actually love you. Like, taking the whole mother of the zodiac sign too far, ripping love away, and then, like, letting you suffer until you come crawling back. Which is, like, if someone's doing that to you, Aries, don't you dare crawl back to that motherfucker. You know, fuck them. <laughs> Like, if they're just gonna be a dick to you, like, by, like, I wouldn't go back to someone who's purposely, like, finding ways to, like, punish me for their own emotional nonsense, you know? That's what it kind of feels like right here. Like, you're dealing with somebody who wants to make you feel bad just because they're, I feel like, doing wrong. But they'd rather cover it up and make it seem like you're wrong for bringing it up, almost. Um, fears and rejections in this Aries. You are your person. Um, someone's afraid they're gonna lose the war after they won a battle, right? End up be questioning whether that love is still there or not. Ooh. Shit. Mm. However, what starts this shit and what ends it? It's a new cycle, and we're all getting new cycles, right? This new cycle is gonna be beneficial to you and your household. Bring you lots of money. So whoever this person is, it's like, if you're dealing with someone who's trying to get on your case and make you feel naughty, Aries, they're eventually going to come back because you're going to get some shit out of this. Like, this is like somebody who, like, doesn't want you to move on. It's like they want to try to find a re- it's like, narc, right? Narcissist, right? Like, devalue and then discard. Acting like you don't even fucking matter. Moving on like you never fucking matter. Only to make you come crawling back so they could be like, Well, I never wanted you anyway. I'm so much better than you. I knew you'd wanted me. You know, like what, a, like that kind of shit, right? Fuck that person who's doing that to you, though. Like, for real, for real. Because, like, they got a fear that if they fuck around too much, they're going to lose you. Especially when you start a new cycle to get something new, Aries. Mm, no, 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 no. This person's trying to block you from your blessings. You better, like, throw them... You better headbutt them with your ram horns, man. Like, screw this person. No, I don't, I don't like this. I don't like whoever this is fucking with you, man. Like, tell them to go away. Yeah, okay. You're getting a double for the ending. Look at this. Like... No matter, it's like no matter what happens, they can see the light, but they don't want to fix anything. They rather sit there with their buffalo friend and let everything rot away while they talk shit about, oh, we couldn't fix this because it was their fault. You could also have a Capricorn involved with this as well, since there's so much earth right here. But this is somebody who should um, be helping you get supported, but instead they just fuck around and then like expect you to do it. And when you don't do it, they blame you. So no. Don't let this person back in if you're getting away from them because they're purposely trying to screw you with your head I feel like like use your instincts of like rule against you like you know Aries like I'm a Capricorn right? I understand the whole Aries shit you guys like being in control you like being dominating and I'm a Capricorn and I'm just that one person who's like um no S Calm your tits, you know, that's just how I am. So Capricorn and Aries kind of don't get along when it comes to like trying to figure shit out but when we're on the same page and I feel like we're on the same page this person's using your domination against you they're trying to make you feel like you're dominating in a way that's like fucking everything up but in reality I feel like they're trying to mess with your head just so they can make you feel like you're nothing without them yeah cause this shit right here whatever this thing that, they, that this person's trying to create it's a pipe dream that they're trying to lead into some other shit. And I don't like them. I'll tell you that right now. I don't like this person at all who you're dealing with, Aries, because I don't think this is you. Like, whoever you're dealing with is, like, trash. Like, yeah, they're trying to cause, like, drama to happen. Which is crazy, because Aries, you're the drama creators. <laughs> Every Aries I've known, they've always been the ones to start shit. But this person is literally trying to get you to start shit in order for them to create chaos in your fucking life. Don't let this person do this to you, dude. Like, kick him in the shins. There's actually... I actually found out there's a competition for shin kicking. 
and like it and like I have shin splints when I run so it's kind of like ooh this person wants to kick you in the shins they want to leave you battered and bruised only for you to figure out later on what the fuck happened they want you to come in erratically that way they could be like oh well I'm not fighting with you in fact I'm gonna sacrifice this relationship you know, trade one thing for another and then act like nothing happened. But in reality, here are some secrets that they created, right? S stay away from this person, Aries, because they're not good for you. Whoever this air sign or water sign is, I don't know, even earth sign at that, watch out for them. Because whoever the this person is that you're dealing with, they don't have enough respect for you to, uh, to give enough respect for themselves to face you like whoever... A man, woman, child, um, buffalo. <laughs> We're going to name the buffalo Bill. That's a, what buffalo's name is. Bill the buffalo. Buffalo Bill. But yeah, stay away from this motherfucker, Aries, because they're going to try to use your um, energy against you in order to make you feel like trash, in order for them to leave and then be like, oh, well, it was all Aries' fault. I don't even give them the time of day. Don't even react. You know how you can really get to somebody? Just laugh at their shit. Just be like, oh, well, that's kind of silly. What were you, what, where did you come up with that? Oh, is that what you think? Okay. Well, that's cool, man. Like, I'm, I'm, uh, at least I know what you're com where you're coming from. I don't agree with it, but, you know, if that's how you feel, I guess I have to, like, just accept that and live with it. You know, like, sh tell them that whatever it is they think is true is true. And leave it at that. Don't even fucking argue because they're looking for an argument and they'll know the, how to trigger you into an argument. Don't do it. But, Aries, that's the reading I have for you for the beginning to mid of August. Thanks for watching this video, and if you want a personal reading, all the information is in the description box below. If you want to check out the music that I use, it's also in the description box as well. Um, you know, like, share, subscribe if that's what you want to do. No pressure, of course. But do try to take care of this, because I don't like where this person's taking it. Like, use their bullshit against them. Don't even react. Just smile and be like, oh, you know what? I don't agree with your position, but I completely accept it. And I'm really glad that you thought I was valuable enough to share. Like, throw that shit back in their face like they're doing you a damn favor. Believe me, it'll work. All right? I will see you guys later. Pieces. Bye-byes.